Hey guys, welcome to my new video and in this video I'm just going to be going over two basic things that you can do in Photoshop to pretty much improve your photos. Now the first one of these is fixing the perspective of your image and the second one is just adding some simple light using brushes. Now this is the photo I'm going to be using, now I'm in Lightroom at the moment and this is the already edited one in Lightroom, uh, this is the original, then I did this in Lightroom and then I took it into Photoshop and it did this. Now you can see at first glance the main thing is the perspective is fixed. In the original one here we can see that all the vertical lines kind of look like they're leaning backwards and this one they all look perfectly vertical and straight and then there's a lot more light coming in from the door here. And another example of this is for this example here, uh, this kind of bathtub shot and then this is the edited one here with the vertical lines fixed and more light in the window again. Now this is really easy to do and it's quite a nice effect I think so let's get right into it. Here we are in Photoshop and we can see we've got our layer here as a background layer and all we want to do is click that, drag it down to the new layer icon and duplicate it. Now the reason I duplicate it is just so I can always keep the original file there so either I can compare it to the original or not completely destroy the original. You don't really have to do it but it's just something I do. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is fix the perspective. Now you're going to need to enable rulers which you can see on the top and left here and to do that just press Control R on your computer or Command R if you're on a Mac I believe and all you need to do is click on the one on the left and drag in you'll see that you're pretty much dragging the straight line across and you want to position these on some vertical lines so for me I'm choosing the side of these louvers here and the side of this door. Now you can do the same with the vertical ones as well, even though our horizontal lines are pretty much straight already. So now that we've done that, we want to highlight our copied layer, press Ctrl T to bring up the transform options, right click and go perspective. Now you want to go up to one of the corners, either the top right or the top left, and just click and drag that out. And you can see it's pretty much pulling the whole image forward like that. And you'll be able to tell when your lines are pretty much vertical, so about there should be right and now you want to click the tick or you can double click or press enter and it should automatically do it and now to get rid of your guides here you just hold control and you'll see your cursor change and just drag them off the screen like that and there we go so there's the before and there's the after and you can see the image might look a tiny bit squashed but that's just because you're used to seeing it like that and this looks a lot more realistic I think okay so let's get on to adding the light now this is really really simple all you want to do is uh, just create a new layer by clicking the new layer option down there and get your brush tool by clicking up there or pressing B and you want to make this a really nice big brush and make sure the hardness is set to zero. Now the size of your brush will determine on how big the resolution of your file is but for me pretty much the biggest size should be fine. And on our new layer here we just want to pretty much click where the light source is coming from then you can create a smaller one and click down here and then maybe click up here and there we go, you can see that before and after there's just a lot more light coming in from the door. You can also do it on these windows I guess if you wanted. Uh, that would just take a bit more time and it wouldn't be nearly as much. But don't go overboard because then you don't want it to really look overly fake, you just want it to add a cool effect. So you might be thinking this looks a little bit out of place since the entire image here has a kind of brown feeling to it, all the doors are brown, the tiles are a bit brown and everything like that. And then this is completely white, it doesn't really seem right and it seems like it was added in after. So something you can do to fix this and you can just create a new adjustment layer by clicking down here and going up to photo filter and just by adding a bit of a, a filter like this you might not be able to see it on uh, the screen recording it's a bit subtle but it just goes from completely white to a bit of a brownie orangey color and it just helps blend it in a little bit more but then we've also run into another problem you can see all the louvers here have gone a bit orange and so is my little puppy at the door. So if there's something in your photo you didn't want to be orange or didn't want to be affected, just click on the layer mask here, bring out your brush tool, and just paint over it with the black color. And you can just make it a really nice big one and pretty much paint around that light source there. And nothing else will be affected except for that big glowing light. So there we go, there's two really simple things to pretty much transform your photo from that to that and in my opinion it looks a whole lot better. And there's also another thing you can apply this same kind of concept to and also using blending modes. If we check out this photo, this is a good example, so you can see the background isn't that great looking in this photo 
and then what I've done is I've taken it into Photoshop, added some colors, and really brightened it up, and I think it looks a whole lot better like that. And you know, you can just experiment and try a few different things. And as usual, there'll be a link to my DeviantArt in the description if you want to see my photography, if you're curious. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.